This article describes the astronomy of the Musca. The Musca, one of the four advanced civilizations in the Americas before the Spanish conquest of the Musca, had a thorough understanding of astronomy, as evidenced by their architecture and calendar, important in their agriculture. Various astronomical sites have been constructed on the Altiplano Cundiboyacens, the territories of the Musca in the central Colombian Andes, but few remain today. Many archaeoastronomical places have been destroyed by the Spanish conquistadores and replaced by their Catholic churches. El Infiernito, outside Villa de Leyva, is the best known of the remaining sites. The Temple of the Sun in Sacred City of the Sun Shugamuxi has been reconstructed. Important scholars who have contributed to the knowledge of the Musca astronomy were José Domingo Duquesne and Alexander von Humboldt in the late 18th and early 19th century and modern researchers as Ella Acursilva Celis, Manuel Arturo Esquierdo Peña, Carl Henrik Langebeck and Juan David Morales. Topic. Background The Musca were an advanced civilization, who inhabited the Altiplano Cundiboyacens and as southeastern part of that the Bogotá savanna before the Spanish conquest of the Musca, of what became known as Colombia today. The onset of the Musca period is commonly set at 800 AD, following the Herrera period, and the reign of the Musca lasted until the arrival of the Spanish in 1537. On the fertile plains of the Andean High Plateau the Musca developed a rich economy consisting of agricultural technologies of drainage and irrigation, fine crafts of gold, tumbaga and ceramics and textiles and a religious and mythological society. The political organization was rather loose, a set of different rulers who traded with each other in small communities. Trading and pilgrimage routes calzadas, were built across the plains and through the hills of the Altiplano. Topic. Musca astronomy The most important and still remaining archaeological site of the Musca, dates to the pre-Musca Herrera period, called by the Spanish conquerors El Infiernito. It is an astronomical site where at solstices the sun lines up the shadows of the stone pillars exactly with the sacred Lake Aguac, where according to the Musca religion the mother goddess Bachwe was born. Additionally, the site used to be a place of pilgrimage where the Musca gathered and interchanged goods. Archaeologist Carl Henrik Langebeck noted that the festivities performed at El Infiernito date back to the early Musca period 800, AD, and that no evidence was found those celebrations existed in the Herrera period. The true alignments of the pillar shadows are 91 east and 271 degrees west. The eastern alignment points to the Moro Negro Hill. El Infiernito at the equinoxes also announced the rainy seasons on the Altiplano. Astronomy was an important factor in the organization of the Musca, both in terms of cycles of harvest and sowing and in the construction of their architecture. The temples and houses were built with an east-west orientation, aligning with the rise and set of the sun, moon and Venus. Also in the textiles of the people, the symbols for the sun and moon are visible. It is probable that the deities in the religion of the Musca represented weavers of the earth and the terrain. The Musca used gold for their art and rituals and the gold was considered semen of the sun. At the ritual of the installation of the new Zippa in Lake Guadavita, depicted in the famous Musca raft, the new Zippa would cover his naked body with gold dust and jump in the lake. Music was played and he was surrounded by four priests, representing two children of the sun and two children of the moon. Topic. Relation with religion and geography The religion of the Musca contained various deities who were based on cosmological and environmental factors Kuchavira, Rainbow, Chibchakum, Rain, Nenkatakoa, Fertility. 
the supreme being of the Muska, Chiminigagua represented the birth of the universe who had sent two birds to create light and shape the earth. His children were the god of the sun, Sue and his wife, the goddess of the moon, Chia. Both deities served as the basis for the complex lunisolar Muska calendar, having different divisions for synodic and sidereal months. The days were equal to the Gregorian calendar days and the three different years were composed of sets of different months, rural years of 12 or 13 months, common years of 20 months and holy years of 37 months. One of the most important religious figures in the Muska religion was Bochica, the bearded messenger god. According to the myths, Bochica walked from Pasca to Iza. The line connecting those two places in the southeastern part of the Altiplano with the northwestern part has an azimuth of exactly 45 degrees, also the line between the city of Bacata with the constructed Temple of the Sun in Shugamuxi has an azimuth of 45 degrees. The length between the two places is 110 kilometers 68 miles, which equals to 1 degree of the circumference of the Earth. Continuing this trajectory to the northeast, it lines up with the highest peak of the Sierra Nevada del Cocay. <laughs> Musca astronomical sites Throughout the territories of the Musca Confederation there have existed numerous temples and other sites of the Musca. Today very few of those remain. A reconstruction of the Sun Temple of Shugamuxi has been built in the Archaeology Museum, Sagamoso. The Moon Temple of Chia has been destroyed. El Infiernito exists still from pre Musca times, and the Cojinas del Zac are two stones located in Tunja. The Cojinas were built aligned to former temples of the Musca, like the Goransacha Temple. On the sites of the temples, the Spanish colonizers built their churches. The Cojinas are aligned with an azimuth of 106 degrees to the cross quarter of the sun, passing over the present-day San Francisco Church to the sacred hill of Romiquira, seen from Bolivar Square in Bogotá. The sun at the June solstice rises exactly over Montserrat, called by the Musca Quijichacaca or Grandmother's Foot, and at the December solstice Sway appears from behind Guadalupe Hill or Quijichagexica, Grandfather's Foot. At the equinoxes of March and September, the sun rises in the valley right between the two hills. Topic: <laughs> Luni solar calendar. Chia and Sue formed the basis of the complex Musca calendar, where synodic and sidereal months were taken into account in three types of years, rural years of 12 or 13 months, common years of 20 months and holy years of 37 months. Weeks with weekly markets were four days, making every month seven weeks. According to Duquesne, the Musca used their perfect number geta. A century consisted of 20 holy years, 20 times 37 months, 740, which equals almost 60 Gregorian years. The same scholar referred to a common century, siglo vulgar, comprising 20 times 20 months. Pedro Simón, as described by Izquierdo Peña, found two different centuries, in the northern part of the Musca Confederation, capital Hunza, and in the south, capital Bacata. It is hypothesized by Izquierdo Peña that this apparent difference was due to a typo in the Chronicles of Simón. Combining the different analyses by the scholars over time, Esquierdo Peña found the arrival of Bochica, described by Pedro Simón to have occurred 14,800 months and the dream of Bochica to supposedly have happened 20 Bexagonoa or 2,000 holy years consisting of 37 months before the time of description. In the Gregorian calendar this equates to 6,166.7 years. Topic. See also Archaeoastronomy Musca calendar Maya astronomy